Linheim Pharmaceuticals took another jolt today as crosstown rival Sacmar Industries announced the development of yet another breakthrough in the prescription drug field. Details remain sketchy, but WizKid chemist Benjamin Sackmar has scheduled a press conference for tomorrow morning. Sackmar, once the driving force at Linheim, broke away to form his own company six months ago. Analysts believe, given Sackmar's talent and drive, the days of Linheim's dominance could be numbered. Taking a look at Wall Street. Well, well, well. How are you, Lyle? This safe sticks a gun in my face. The other one tosses me into a car. How do you think I am? Sorry, but I didn't want you leaving town before we had a chance to chat. About what? There's an outstanding contract between us, Lyle, for which you were paid a half a million dollars. Are you joking? I just did 10 years in the joint. Your point? Or even Lenheim. <laughs> You've quite an inflated sense of worth, Lyle. Hard time was your fault, pal. You got caught. Yeah, doing a job for you. An unfinished job, Lyle. Now, can you return the fee? The money was confiscated when they arrested me. You know that. Then the only solution is another assignment. Right. I'm retired. All right. And you're recently married, aren't you, Lyle? A school teacher. What about it? I'd like you to meet this lovely young lady. Lisa. She look familiar? Okay, okay. Okay. What do you want? What do you think I want, Lyle? I want you to kill someone. I don't do that anymore. I can't. Yeah? Well, blood doesn't wash that easily, my friend. You think it over, and you call me tomorrow. One way or another, someone's going to die. Don't make it be your lovely wife, Lyle. The Day After Tomorrow. A time when criminals rule the city. The only weapon that can stop them needs a driver. A man without a memory can be supplied with one. After a little cosmetic fine-tuning, he'll be our driver. Let's initiate changeover. Three, two, one, activate. The most wanted man on wheels is about to change sides. Now, against a corrupt system, a lone fight for justice. Viper is taking back the streets. His name's Lyle Hinkle. He's a reformed professional assassin. The man's a hired killer? Yes, but he only hit other criminals, blackmailers, drug dealers, gun runners. He was nicknamed The Face because he could change his appearance. He could take on the guise of anyone he wanted. The rumor was he, he only got caught because he got tired of the business. Well, Hinkle turned state's evidence. He served his time. He was a model prisoner. He was released last week. So why'd he come to you? Hmm. I had just made captain. Hinkle was my first major bust. I treated him with respect. And he trusted me. Did he say who he was supposed to hit? Well, he hasn't been told yet, but he believes it's someone of prominence. Now, Hinkle's going to contact his blackmailer today and try and get some more information. I set up a meeting for you and Joe at midnight. Hinkle's going to call me with the location. Sounds a little paranoid. <laughs> well, it's part of his nature, I'm afraid. Well, however, I suppose Hinkle has got lots of enemies, but he insists he does not want to go back to his killing days. Hmm. 
Of course, you don't have to take the assignment. No, no, no. How serious is this guy about changing his life? I don't know. But I believe everyone deserves a second chance. Punctual as always, Lyle. Lindheim, we have a deal. Under one condition. I want to see Lisa now. All right. Come to my office. I'll be there in 15 minutes. And Carl, you touch her. I'll kill you. Okay. I think so. What's going on? It's about business from the old days. It's a money problem. I'll explain it later. Are you sure they didn't hurt you? Yeah. I just want to go home. I just want to go home with you. You will. I promise. I knew you'd make the right decision. I didn't realize I had one to make. Let's get this over with. His name is Ben Sackmar. Why him? Business. He's in my way. Lyle? Uh-uh. No. She need to hear this. I suppose not. Take Mrs. Hinkle to her room. Come on. No! No! Lyle, don't do this for me! Don't worry about it. Nobody's gonna get hurt. Tomorrow morning, Ben Sackmar is giving a live press conference. The address is on the back of that photo. When he finishes, I want you to drop him. He's an innocent man. I've never... Don't start a moral debate, Lyle. When you complete your contract, I'll set Lisa free. Joe, you don't understand. Hinkle is the most notorious trigger man in the history of modern crime. I followed his whole career. Why? Frankly, this guy hit people, not baseballs. I'm not espousing Hinkle as a role model for crying out loud. I simply have a fascination with the criminal mind. Nice hobby. Oh, what? Like I'm alone? You know, they're still publishing biographies on Jesse James, Al Capone, and Jack the Ripper, right? It's a very lucrative trade. Uh, wait a minute. Are you thinking about writing a book on Hinkle? I've toyed with the concept. <laughs> Frankie, you're still not coming. Oh, come on, Joe! Hinkle's called with the rendezvous spot under the old Green Tower Bridge. I know the place. We're on our way. Let's roll. OK. Where are you going? Later, Frankie. Oh, come on, you guys. Sorry, Frankie. No rumble seat. OK. OK, mock me, you Philistines. But when my book becomes a bestseller, expect to pay retail. You want some coffee? Julia. Oh, no, no, sorry. I was just remembering the last time I was here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was 10 years old. <laughs> we used to sneak out here at night and ride our skateboards all up and down here. Very good. Are you kidding? They called me the stealth. <laughs> Strange, you know? Times like these, it almost seems like I'm remembering somebody else's life. Believe me, I know the feeling. Yeah, I guess you do. Where is it, guy? He's late. Maybe he's already here disguised as a, a box or a mattress. <laughs> According to <laughs> Frank, this guy's a regular chameleon. We're beginning to think you weren't going to show. Just checking the scene before I showed up. It's an old habit. I guess Delia told you my story, who I was, what I was. Yeah, well, that's all history. What we're interested in is the here and now. This guy's got my wife. If I don't do the job, he's gonna kill her. Who's he? A 
Look, we can't help you if you don't tell us what's going on. Come on, it's cold, it's late, I'm in no mood to play games. He asked for our help, that's why we're here. I promise you, nobody followed us. All right. His name is... You guys, you set me up. No, wait. Frankie! It's a friend of ours. Wait a minute. Hey, come on. want me to come, but I could not miss this opportunity to meet the face. Where's he going? Another hot date? Was this an inopportune arrival? I merely took an alternate route, and by sheer coincidence, Spare I me, okay? All right, mea culpa. Well, what do you want from me, blood? Don't tempt me. Hinkle was about to spill. Now we don't know who's gonna be hit or when it's gonna happen. And we've put his wife in extreme danger as well. Well, we gotta find him. We? Hey, look. It was my fault he took off. Ergo, it'll be my fault if somebody gets killed, and I don't think I can deal with that. You gotta let me pitch in here. Okay. Where would Hinkle go if he was in trouble? Well, he's got no known friends, no family besides his wife, so that's out. And word was he had a secret place, a hideout, where he used to go and do his thing, you know, change his appearance. But even when he got busted, he never gave up the location. I always figured it was on the east side. Why? Well, that's where he grew up. Anyway, it's familiar territory to him. That's all the way across town from the bridge. So I'll see what I can turn up. Oh, wait, Joe. Take me with. I can help you spot the guy in all me inside out. Huh? Look, I even got my notes. Notes on what? My biography. The Face Speaks by Franklin X. Waters. Unfinished, however, due to the lack of crucial interviews with the subject himself. However, contained herein is invaluable All information. Right. All right. Just don't make me regret it. You won't, Joe. Oh, and listen, uh, would you mind don't if I... Don't even get... ask. Don't. These new Java joints around here, you think the beatniks were making a comeback already? Frankie, look, we've been riding around for over an hour. I thought that magic book was supposed to have all the answers. Not answers, Joe. Clues. Look, Hinkle was born on Underhill. He later hung out at a joint on uh, River Street and occasionally met clients at the Eight Ball Saloon. Thus, the east side triangulation of the six blocks we now traverse. Just keep your eyes open, okay? He's here somewhere. I can feel him. Hey, Joe. I really appreciate you taking me along. I mean, I know sometimes I give you achita, but this is very important to me. No. Couldn't let you take the fall without at least throwing your parachute.
what did you say he was wearing? A uh, dark jacket, dark pants, long gray hair. Sort of like that? Exactly. Hold on. area and I know exactly where he's going. gonna watch him get away. so sure, Joe. They don't call him the face for nothing. <laughs> Ow, oh. It's not you. Ah, it's not him. You do it. It's not him. Sorry about that. I just gave you this jacket and took off. Yeah. Why would I lie? Look, here, take it. Can I go now? No, keep the coat. It's cold oh, out. Bless you. Come on. Hey, listen, uh, sorry about that beard thing, you know? Sorry enough to buy me dinner? I guess you don't eat out much. Okay. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Not him. Ow. You know, we might not find him until it's too late. Frankie, you can't keep blaming yourself for what somebody else does. Can I?
place is back. I can't believe he ditched us for such a cheap trick. Well, what are we gonna do now, Joe? Well, to consult your oracle again. Hey, don't even mention this lousy manuscript right now, okay? What a humiliating chapter this is gonna make. Maybe I'll send the probe out to sweep the area. A pointless exercise, Joe. The east side was built over a rat's nest, the basement and old brick service tunnels going back a hundred years. I doubt we're gonna find Hinkle now that he's on to us. There's gotta be some way. Uh, how about accessing Metropole's archives? Yeah, hey, I got a better idea. I still got the original source material from which I drew my book. Maybe I missed a vital clue. We can collect the files in my pen. Well, if we're going by your place, we should leave the car in defender mode. <laughs> yeah, I keep a meticulous abode, Joe, and I take umbrage to that remark. Take whatever you want. The last time I was there, I thought you had patterned wallpaper. Till it moved. <laughs> hey, can I help it if the cockroaches like my cooking? Look, this, uh, this night owl routine is getting old. Why don't you just bring by the files in the morning? After I've had my coffee. Got it? Yeah. No cappuccino? This is it. Everything ever written about the face. I really think this will help us find it. So we shot with gas. Could you not say shot, please? All we got going for us is knowing that Hinkle hasn't pulled this thing off yet. We'd heard something on the news by now. Yeah, but don't be so sure. You know, we're dealing with a genius here. A genius? Before he went over to the dark side, Hinkle was a computer whiz. He got offers from all the major egghead institutions. No offense, Jordan. We're moments away from the beginning of this press conference in which Benjamin Sackmar, founder of Sackmar Industries, is expected to make a major announcement regarding a breakthrough oh my God. in the field of prescription drug treatment. I think you guys want to take a look at this. No time to watch television, Frankie. Make time! What's wrong with this picture? I don't believe it. It's you. The new process will allow. It's impossible. That's Hinkle. He's gonna kill Sackmar, and he's using my face. Why pick you as a cover? He thinks I set him up under the bridge. It's payback. I'll get Metropole on the line. No, don't. They arrest Hinkle, we risk getting his wife killed. Not to mention blowing the lid off this whole operation. It's more than that, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Julian. Something about him, something desperate. You know, it's at least 10 miles from here to that press conference. Let's hope I catch the lights. You know, there's no reason for this to be unpleasant. It's only business. It's murder. <laughs> Semantics. And besides, I'm not the one pulling the trigger. We believe that the clinical trials will take approximately six more months. Lyle isn't going to kill for you. Of course he will. What makes you so sure? He's in love. Because I don't like mistakes. And because Lyle is the best. But I don't have to tell you that, do I? That is not the case with the Sackmar drug. Please, please, one question at a time. I promise I will answer as many questions as I can. Uh, are you sure? Talk to me, Julian. Actually, Sackmar's still taking questions. You think Hinkle's gonna hit him on the platform? I doubt it. He'll probably wait till it's over and then get lost in the crowd. I don't think he wants to go back to prison. You look like you're making good time. 
Yeah. What? Until now. What's wrong? <sighs> a little bit of a traffic jam. I don't get out of this mess, Sackmore's a dead man. What do you have in mind? A little detour. created a precisely regulated time release capsule which interacts with the bloodstream to deliver the drug as needed. Now this could prove especially useful for patients with mobility problems or those who live far from care centers. Again, I want to thank you all for coming. Now, I hate to do this, but I am due on a satellite feed in 15 minutes. I am sorry. No more questions. Are you having doubts about your husband's resolve? It won't be long now. You blew it, Hinkle. I never wear polyester. Sucker, please, the animal test. Did it. it stopped him. It was too close. You have a fainting couch nearby? Sackmar is driving away! I don't know what happened here, but I hope for your sake that Lyle has a very convincing excuse. Up the stairs. Over here. Right here. Why'd you stop me, damn it? You'd have killed him if I hadn't. Didn't have a choice. Thought you were trying to set me up. I was alone. How'd you figure it out? Blind luck. And I don't appreciate you using my face, no matter how much you thought it was justified. Unbelievable. Take that thing off. Right here? Yeah, right here. You don't, I will. <sighs> How do you do this? Complicated. Technical. Computer-generated artificial skin, basically. <sighs> fantastic. Uh, listen, uh, I never tried to set you up. I didn't know we were being followed. He was a friend of ours. Why didn't you turn me over to the cops? <sighs> Last night under the bridge, I saw something in your eyes. Fear. So what are you afraid of losing? All my life, I had this empty place inside. Then I met Lisa. She's a teacher. I used to go talk to kids about prison, try to scare them into being good. The day I walked into her class, everything changed. One minute you're one person, next minute you're not. That ever happened to you? 
Yeah, more or less. Listen, Lyle, you want my help? You gotta learn how to trust me. All right. And why Ben Sackmar? You ever heard of Carl Lindheim? Lindheim Pharmaceuticals? Yeah. Before Lindheim was into over the county, was on the streets, my last job, he hired me to do a rival dealer. Things went bad, so he says I owe him one. It's like I told you. I said he's promised to kill Lisa if I don't do the job. He's got to know by now that it didn't go down. Call him. Ask him for another chance. Then what? Then we go get your wife. What was I supposed to do, huh? Just rip his face off and leave him out there on his own? Of course not, but we agreed this place was off limit. I don't have to remind you what could happen if the wrong people find out where we are. Believe me, Julian, he doesn't have a clue. Sure you uh, can't get your soda? No. Uh, an espresso? No. You know, I make a very fine cheese omelet. I just want to get out of here, wherever here is. Poke out my eyes. I can't believe I am standing here conversing with Lyle the Face Hinkle. Your voice sounds familiar. Have we met? No. Uh, not, not exactly. We, we sort of talked on the phone. Wait a minute. You're the guy that used to call me in the joint. I may have made one or two inquiries. One or two? about twice a week for 10 years. I just wanted to talk. About what? I have all the research for my book on your escapades, but I need your personal POV, if you will. You are crazy. Did you get the birthday cake I sent you last year? There's no chance in Ellen Lindheim unless we get him to incriminate himself. We asked Hinkle to kill a man. How much more do we need? Hinkle's a convicted felon. It'd be his word against Lindheim's. He'd never hold up in court. Then how do we nail him? We could hinkle to wear a wire. That might work. You think you'll buy it? Absolutely. No way! I'm not doing it. I couldn't care less about pinning Lindheim. I just want to get Lisa out alive. Lyle, someone's been listening in on the vid phone. I think you should speak with her. Lyle, it's Delia Thorne. I think you should reconsider this. Now, you and I have always been up front with each other. And you always told me that trust was a two-way street. That's right. And why am I sitting here in the dark, huh? Joe, Julian, it's your call. This is Viper Heaven. What do you want me to do? Straight on this? Yeah. I go talk to Lindheim about the hit. Right. And I'll be monitoring everything from down here. If anything happens, I'll be on top of it. Why are you doing this? Redemption, Lyle. It works. I've been there. <laughs> I'm on the top floor. I hope you're reading this. Heading towards the penthouse now. Hold it. There's some workmen around the door. I can't tell. Putting a metal detector in front of the light hands the next door. I'm losing the wire. No, 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 you can't.
okay? Yeah. See Lindheim? Yeah, I saw it. And? Things have changed. Taking the day off, Ben. I told you he wouldn't kill for you. So you did. That's why I've arranged for an encore performance. What? Any minute now, your husband will be boarding with Benjamin Sackmar. And as we watch, he will put a bullet through Sackmar's heart. No, he won't. You don't know him. Right on time. Hello, Ben. I apologize for bringing you out here like this, but you really left me no alternative. Believe it or not, Ben, I always liked you. Right up to the moment that you left my employ and ungratefully became my chief competitor. It's been a long day, Lindheim. You want him dead or not? Of course I want him dead. I just thought Ben should know why. Lyle, you, you, you can't do this. Just shut up. Relax, Lisa. After Lyle's through, we're gonna take a nice moonlit cruise and drop Ben overboard for the fish to enjoy. Sorry. No! Finally square, Lyle. Not quite. <laughs> Drop it. Lisa. Move! What are you trying to pull? I already pulled it. You can't take me down without destroying yourself, Lyle. You killed him. Hmm. Not quite. This is impossible. I saw him. I, I, I saw him shoot you. The, the blood. The blood! Yeah, it looks pretty lifelike, doesn't it? You have to be careful when you're dealing with the face. Joke's on you, Linheim.
sufficient. that he wanted me killed. Yeah, look, uh, sorry about surprising you the way we did. Wasn't much time to explain. I may not have believed you if you had. That substance that you use for the masks, is it organic? Partly, yeah. My company may be interested in the process for skin grafting and such. Call my office, will you? I'll make sure that he does. I believe Metropole needs a statement from you, Mr. Sackmar. Thanks again. All of you. Lyle, stay out of trouble. He will. <laughs> hey, Joe, uh, I haven't apologized for pulling that gun on you. I was scared. If you had to set this whole thing up, uh, I might have... Uh... Hey, forget it. I'm just glad everything worked out. Oh, well, I better get home before my wife sends out a search party. Good luck. You two hold on to each other. It's real cold out there. I know this is not the most ideal moment, and I would never unduly bother you or your lovely bride, but when might I begin the interviews to complete my book? This book is closed. We're pushing ahead. Yeah, but what about all my research? Hey, can I tell you something? You're making a big mistake here. I got it. The face now becomes the mug. Of course, we'll have to change the location. I don't know, maybe, uh, Buffalo. Yeah, and voila, huh, fiction. Of course, I'll need a proper tie-in for the photo jacket. Yeah, mohair sweater and a meerschaum pipe. A mastiff by my side. Now, the movie rights will be tricky, so I'll insist on portraying myself. <laughs> yeah, it's the principle of the thing. Hey, you foul feathered sky! 